Good evening, everybody. Welcome to St. Mary Mag's Evening Prayer. Uh, if this is your first time or whether you've been joining with us for uh, the last couple of weeks, uh, we're going to be using the examine prayer, which enables us to reflect on the day that we've had and give thanks uh, in a few moments' time. Uh, what we always do is we wait for people like Virginia, hi Virginia, to come and to join us for evening prayer. So that's what we're going to do for just a few moments. I hope you've had a good day. Uh, we'd love to know what uh, you'd like us to pray for. So do write a little message and uh, we'll try and uh, I'll try and catch it. But if I miss it, other people will see it, even if I don't. And we'll be praying for you. And um, then let us know how that goes you know, tomorrow if you come back or if there's an answer to prayer or if there's a need for continued prayer. We'd love to pray for you. And um, or if there's a need that you're aware of, uh, either put the message here or private message uh, myself or the office. In case, I don't, in case I forget to say later, you can email me, vicar at stmags.org.uk or the office, office at stmarymagdalene.org.uk and uh, telephone number 01803 211 868. Uh, if you're aware of someone that's in need of help at this time, then we've got guys who would be able to, to do something about that or we'd know people who could. So do get in touch. I'll welcome, hi Claire and Carrick and Rachel, Judith and Susie and Emma. I won't try and say hello to everybody because I'm bound to miss someone. Just gonna have a sip of tea and then I'm going to read from, I just finished two Peter today and I'm starting one John, which is the next book tomorrow. And I've just skipped ahead and the first few verses are lovely. So I'm going to read uh, read that. Are you sitting comfortably? Shows me age, that does. This is from 1 John, right near the back of the Bible. Let me read you a few verses from here. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our own eyes, which we have looked at and our hands have touched, this we proclaim concerning the word of life. The life appeared, talking about Jesus of course, the life appeared, we have seen it and testified to it and proclaimed to you the eternal life which was, which with the Father, which was with the Father and has appeared to us. We proclaim to you what we have seen and heard so that you may also have fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We write this to make our joy complete. We have got, it's a funny word we don't often use um, in normal circles if you like, but we've got fellowship which means we've got relationship with God through Jesus Christ and we believe that as we gather together he's with us by his spirit. I know we're not in the one physical place but we are intentionally gathering to pray and to give thanks for the day and I believe that he's that, that God blesses that that intentionality of us getting together and that he wants to bless you and be with you and speak to you in your home in your context whether that's really fraught at the moment or actually quite peaceful. Uh, so we pray uh, as the St Mag's community that you will find peace and solace and hope and help uh, in this online space uh, in the shortage of physical space. Hey Kevin and Anne and Mike, Elaine and Lionel. Oh, fantastic. So that was 1 John verses uh, 1 to 3. Let's pray together. I'd encourage you to get into a comfortable position, just become aware of your body posture and your breathing. Contrary to some forms of uh, meditation, this isn't about emptying ourselves. This is about being filled with God's presence and drawing close to him. But it does sometimes take setting aside uh, the things of the day and saying, I'm going to leave that for the moment. 
I'm going to focus my attention, uh, my heart, my thoughts upon God. Holy Spirit, God's presence with us, poured out upon us from the Father. Will you make your presence known with us now? I ask God to reveal all the gifts and graces that he has given to me today. From the big ones to the small ones. Could be a good night's sleep, a phone call, an email, news from afar, that meal that we enjoyed, the walk we had. And I thank God for each of these gifts. I ask God to fill me with his merciful love. I ask God to be the leader of this prayer, not to brood or obsess about ourselves, but to think about ourselves and turn our attention towards God. So going hour by hour, let's review the day. In our imagination, let's relive each significant moment from the moment we woke up and just linger for a little while in thought and in prayer on important moments and pass over the less important ones. It's just, there's some space now for you to do that. I continue thanking God for the gifts that I find in my day. I pause at any of the difficult moments in my day. I pay attention to any missed opportunities when I could have acted in a certain way but didn't. And when I do find moments in which I wasn't, I wasn't the person that I was called to be, I ask God's forgiveness. And I trust and try to sense his healing mercy washing over me. Because he is quick to forgive us. And now we ask God to show us concretely, definitely, how he wants us to respond and do tomorrow. So hold before God the, the, the plans that you may have for tomorrow, if there's anything in your diary at all. Anticipate it and invite God into it. Who is God calling us to be tomorrow? How are we to represent Jesus to those who we meet or speak to or interact with? We resolve to ask for his help to be that person, 
to make decisions that uh, will take us towards that goal and to ask him to so work within us that our hearts are transformed and we want to do the things that he's called us to do. Lord, we thank you for the gift of every day. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for the way that you walk with us through this season. Thank you that you are unchanging and you are our rock, our harbour. In this time that may feel like wilderness, that may feel confusing, we pray that you will use these times to do a deep work within us, where you reveal who we are under the surface. Where we allow you to show the areas where we need your grace. But may there be beautiful things bubbling up to the surface in these days, not only in our lives, but in the lives of our homes and our neighbourhoods and our town. Thank you for the beauty of seeing people help each other, of reaching out to their communities and their neighbours. Thank you for the generous thanks offered in that the, the round of applause and the, the cheering and the noise for our NHS workers. Thank you for every act of kindness, every sign of your kingdom amongst us. And we continue to pray for our nation. We continue to pray for our world. And we offer you all these prayers in confidence that you hear us. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Just offer God any final words as we bring our prayer to a a conclusion now. And let's join in the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. The prayer, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Well, thank you for uh, joining us for prayer this evening. I've just seen one or two people asking how my mum got on, because I asked for some prayer this morning. Um, She's good. She's uh, sitting up in bed. Last I heard, eating ice cream and drinking cups of tea. And uh, yeah, she's all right. Uh, She'll be hopefully home tomorrow. Um, just praying that she stays well and uh, that everything heals up well but thank you for asking appreciate it and uh, for any other prayer requests that we missed I trust that um, as a community you spotted them and uh, you're praying and uh, let us know how things go but good night friends we'll see you in the morning I'm going to go and finish my cup of tea and uh, call it a night I think good night everybody <laughs>